WLKY Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jay Cardosi. All right, a little bit wintry around here last night throughout the morning hours of today. Some locations, about a half inch of snow in Louisville. We had a dusting as well throughout this day. Officially, one tenth of an inch of snow with those flurries. It now takes us up to just shy of five inches for the season. Last year at this time, lots more than that, just over 14 inches of snow. And by the way, the flurries we had this morning, they're out of here. We're still dealing with those low clouds, however. But if you look off to the north and northeast, some clearing going on, that should get here a little bit later on tonight. Set the stage for a very, very chilly night. Boy, here's the monster here in the northeast. Heavy snow actually continues right now from Boston up into sections of Maine. And as of about 3.30 this afternoon, check out some of the snowfall tallies. New York City missed the heaviest brunt of this storm, anywhere from 6 to 12 inches for the city itself. But on the eastern sections of Long Island, snowfall amounts were 2 feet plus. And you can see Hartford in and around the city, the suburbs, anywhere from 8 to 22 inches of snow. Boston, as of 3.35 this afternoon, 22 inches, but it was still coming down at the rate of 1 to 2 inches per hour. If by chance they exceed 27 and a half inches of snow, it'll be the biggest snow of all time for those folks. Some of the suburbs up over 30 inches, and this is what it looked like earlier today. Check out that. That's one of the streets in Boston. All the cars just completely covered up. Winds were gusting 50 miles an hour plus. It's just a full fledged blizzard. As a matter of fact, let me show you this time lapse review of the storm. Again, this is one of the city streets in Boston. And you can see last night through this morning, watch the car just slowly disappear as the heavy snow set in, coming down at the rate of two to four inches per hour for a short time late last night and this morning. The wind's kicking up and it's still a mess right now. And don't forget, U of L has a ball game there tomorrow night. Will they get there tomorrow? Hard to say at this point, as many, many flights have been canceled in the Northeast. Well, outside around here right now, we do have the cloudy skies, but it is quiet. That's the good news. And the temperatures right now are basically hovering in the low to middle 30s. 32 to 34 is the range. That humidity, 61 percent. A northwest breeze, almost 10, is pushing that chill factor down into the upper 20s. Dress for that, bundle up. It's going to be a cold overnight period. Once those skies clear, the temperatures will tank with light winds, lots of stars, high pressure building in. The fact that it's late January, yeah, these are the expected lows by tomorrow morning, basically lower 20s, expecting 22 in the downtown region. We will see a pretty good dose of sunshine tomorrow. That's the good news. A couple of high clouds really starting to move in late day. But high temperatures, cool, but better than what we've seen, will top out in the lower 40s by mid to late afternoon. Let's check your forecast now. For this evening, it will be quiet with a slow decrease in the clouds. We'll go from the 30s back into the 20s. 10 o'clock tonight, going clear, 27. We'll wake up to some sunshine, but boy, oh boy, cold conditions in the morning. Readings right around 22. And by midday tomorrow, with a lot of sun, up to 32 degrees, still quite chilly. Here's your seven day forecast. Tomorrow's top temperature right around 41. Hey, we're 47 on Thursday. It's breezy, a chance for a few light rain showers. Those will likely go over to flurries Thursday night into Friday morning as some colder air works in. We're high of 33 on Friday. 40, cloudy on Saturday. Sunday system is still there. We're looking right now for a chance for rain changing over to snow by Sunday night into early Monday. And yeah, this could still cause problems, could still cause accumulations. We'll watch it close. Behind that system, Vicki, Rick, it's cold. Middle 20s for afternoon highs and lows at night in the teens. Hmm. Winter is, is certainly not over. No, no, it's not. At least we're not getting what they're getting up north. Very